it's August 6th, yesterday after doing the video that I did, um, calling the police out and all that, and then 10 minutes after making that video, I hadn't even finished uploading it to YouTube yet, the sheriff shows up right outside my house, um, trying to be all intimidating, so I went outside to water the lawn, if he has something to say, there I am, you know, go ahead, say it. This isn't the first time it's happened. It's just the most blatant. And I got it on my house cameras. But yesterday, I got a comment asking me what kind of Nazis I'm talking about. And so I want to explain the kind of Nazis that I first was trained by and grew up with. And the Nazis now that I'm having to deal with out here because they're not the same thing. What I was trained with was Colonel Mike Lacino and the group that he was working with. And they were straight out of the fucking concentration camp Nazis. Because we brought all of those scientists over to America after World War II in Project Paperclip. So that the Russians didn't get the information. And so we brought them all over and they were straight out of the fucking concentration camp Nazis. Because of that, they believed in all of this spiritual, psychic shit, you know? They believe that in Revelations, the beast that suffered a mortal blow that raises back to power, they always believed it was them. And uh, they were the ones involved in the rituals in Hummel Park. And they were the ones who were involved at off at Air Force Base and the shit that they were training me to do. They trained me to be a shell, you know, and have all of these abilities, you know, psychic shit, you know, being able to look at someone and knowing when they're lying to you and then being able to figure out what the lie is and figuring out the truth and all of that shit. It's the spy stuff was part of the whole thing. It was just it was a lot about energy. It's a whole long process. But it was all the shit that was developed in the concentration camps. That's what was going on. That's what they trained me to do. The unfortunate thing is that they pledged their souls to me. And all the souls of all of their groups when I was a kid. Because I was a vessel for what was going to live inside of my dad. And they told me that was going to be the Antichrist. I write about it. In Confessions of an Antichrist, you can find on my blog. However, they never figured that my parents would make me light that dude on fire when I was 10. And it wasn't part of my training, and I wasn't drugged, because I was always drugged. And uh, I ended up, it ended up causing a psychotic break. One of the most atrocious things that ever happened. Well, not really, but it, it was pretty atrocious. But it saved me in the end. Um, it broke all of their shit but they believe that they're gonna rise back to power but there's another part of that situation that prophecy just when they think they have it all heaven comes and rips the rug out from underneath them and they're thrown into the fucking abyss that part they just didn't get through their fucking heads and that's what's coming that's what's happening that's the reason why all this Nazi shit has taken off all over the world and is now starting to crumble. Because they might own the world, but when heaven uses the sun to f burn the world away, then what the fuck do you have? You know? In the end, they will be claimed by the abyss. They will be in the darkness. That's how it works. It's all spiritual. This is what's happening. The shit that's going on here with the meth shit and the child porn and them all trying to fucking set me up because, come on, let's be real. A gas station, the first explosion blows up by magic because there's no plausible reason that caused that explosion, you know? And the fucking all of the setups that I've had to go through over and over and over just in Harlan alone. You know, to try and shut me the fuck up. And the car accident, and the, the chief of police, and 
it's just been so much, but it's all spiritual. Because the whole thing about it is, is that sometimes, no matter the consequence, no matter, even if it's not in your best interest, sometimes you have to just stand up and do the right thing. That's the only choice you really have, is to stand up and have faith. And I have faith. That's the reason why I don't give a shit, because I believe in heaven. I believe in heaven. And what they're facing, they can't beat. And this is, all of this shit is getting ready to be burned away. Because the Nazis that I deal with now, today, are just wannabe Nazis. They are just so full of want. All they want is what they want. And they think that they're a group. And if they're intimidating and powerful and sneaky, they can just take whatever they want. They, they don't have any of the real foundation of what it was to be a fucking Nazi. Colonel Aquino, he knew what the fuck it meant. I know what it was, what it means, you know? And the whole thing about it is, is that I know that God is about ready to take you motherfuckers down. And I don't give a shit. I was right outside. If the Neil Gross... Sheriff, if you have something to say to me, I was right outside. You could have said something, you know, but you don't have shit to say. And uh, you guys are afraid. And you should be. Because you want to know what? I'm just doing what I was trained to do. Peace out.